What's good, YouTube? Stormy B-Man, and I'm back with another Stormy B-Man's Briefs. This time, the focus is on Mauricio Suleiman and his projection that he feels that Deontay Wilder will be coming back to fight again and possibly fight for a vacated WBC heavyweight championship title after Tyson Fury elects to give the title up with retirement. This man is trying to draw on the biggest draw in boxing, whom he had a hand in helping assist with the WBC title being taken away. He speculates, and I quote from Boxing News 24, he's weighing up his plans for the future. He had a very busy reign as a champion. Two knockout losses to Fury, very difficult. Still, he's matured and he's doing very well. Unquote from the WBC president Mauricio talking about Wilder to Sky Sports. But this is the key, this is the key here, people. The article goes on to say that even through this speculation, rabbit punches galore, floppy gloves, a referee shockingly giving a count to an unconscious fury, and some fans believe a long count in the third fight. Yeah, it's hard to blame Wilder if he elects to retire rather than come back and grace the boxing world with his presence. Exactly. This is the kind of thing that, like I said before, everybody knows what went on, but no one wants to say anything about it. And here we are now in the aftermath that they have allowed one man to benefit off of the things that were done improperly and inappropriately to Wilder stemming his reign as heavyweight champion and ending his knockout streak. They did not want this man to become the undisputed champion, let alone to continue to dominate the heavyweight division. So they put a drug cheat in his place. And even with this drug cheat, supposedly selling out 90 plus thousand in Wembley, he is not the box office draw that Deontay was. But they still had to put this man up there because that's who they wanted up there. They didn't want Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder now does not want boxing. And great for him because he's a man who has put himself in position to walk away from the sport and do whatever he chooses to do with the rest of his life. As well he should. Leave this corrupt sport and the corrupt people who participate in it to their own devices. Mauricio Suleiman is now grasping at straws because even after his alleged affiliation with people who are under scrutiny and under the watchful eye of the law, he's trying to find something else and divert. But we know what the diversion tactics are in the sport of boxing and we will not continue to support this or people like him. The sooner that we get rid of people like Mauricio, the better off the sport will be. He and his colleagues and constituents, all of them have contributed mightily to the destruction of this sport and holding back the talent that participates in this sport from achieving the great possibilities of legacy that set themselves apart from others. As long as the sport continues to do the things that they've done the way that they're doing them, people will not flourish or grow. Yes, there will be some who will make a dollar, but there will be none who will stretch the dollar. And the stretched dollar is what will allow the sport to continue to maintain. This is something that we all need to think about and we're talking about people who we need to forget about. This is Stormy B-Man. Those are my thoughts in this brief. Tune in for more content like this. Shout out to the mighty LBBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. This is all I have for you at this time. Until the next time we speak, peace to everyone out there and everyone out there. Please remain safe.